Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 8. Then Shalomah assembled at the elders of Yashadael, and at all the heads of the tribes, the chief of the fathers of the children of Yashadael, unto King Shalomah in Yerushalayim, that they might bring up at the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah out of the city of David, which is Sion. And all the men of Yashadael assembled themselves unto King Shalomah at the feast in the month Ethanim, which is the seventh month. And all the elders of Yashadael came, and the priests took up at the ark, and they brought it up at the ark of Yahuwah, and at the tabernacle of the assembly, and at all the holy vessels that were in the tabernacle, even those did the priests and the Leviim bring up. And King Shalomah and all the assembly of Yashadael that were assembled unto him were with him before the ark, sacrificing sheep and oxen that could not be told nor numbered for multitude. And the priests brought in at the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah unto his place, into the oracle of the house, to the most holy place, even under the wings of the Karavim. For the Karavim spread forth their two wings over the place of the ark, and the Karavim covered the ark and the staves thereof above. And they drew out the staves, that the end of the staves Rather, ends of the staves were seen out in the holy place before the oracle, and they were not seen without. And there they are unto this day. There was nothing in the ark save the two sapphire stones, which Moshe put there at Chorev, when Yahuwah cut a covenant with the children of Yashadael, when they came out of the land of Mitzrayim. And it came to pass, when the priests were come out of the holy place, that the cloud filled at the house of Yahuwah, so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud. For the glory of Yahuwah had filled the house of Yahuwah. Then spoke Shalomah, Yahuwah said that he would dwell in the thick darkness. I have surely built you a house to dwell in, a settled place for you to abide in forever. And the king turned at his face about, and blessed at all the assembly of Yashadael, and all the assembly of Yashadael stood. And he said, Blessed be Yahuwah, Elohai of Yashadael, which spoke with his mouth, eth unto David my father, and has with his hand fulfilled it, saying, Since the day that I brought forth eth my people, eth Yashadael, out of Mitzrayim, I chose no city out of all the tribes of Yashadael to build a house, that my name might be therein, but I chose David to be over my people, Yashadael. And it was in the heart of David, my father, to build a house for the name of Yahuwah Elohai, of Yashadael. And Yahuwah said unto El David, my father, Whereas it was in your heart to build a house unto my name, you did well that it was in your heart. Nevertheless, you shall not build the house, but your son that shall come forth out of your loins, he shall build the house unto my name. And Yahuwah has performed at his word that he spoke, and I am risen up in the room of David, my father, and sit on the throne of Yashadael, as Yahuwah promised, and have built a house for the name of Yahuwah, Elohai of Yashadael. And I have set there a place for the ark, wherein is the covenant of Yahuwah, which he cut with our fathers 
when he brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Shaloma stood before the altar of Yahuwah in the presence of all the assembly of Yashadael and spread forth his hands toward heaven. And he said, Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, there is no Elohim like you in heaven above or on earth beneath who guards the covenant and has mercy with your servants that walk before you with all their heart, who has kept with your servant David, my father, eth that you promised him. You spoke also with your mouth and have fulfilled it with your hand, as it is this day. Therefore now, Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el, keep with your servant David, my father, eth that you promised him, saying, There shall not fail you a man in my sight to sit on the throne of Yashara'el, so that your children take heed, eth to their way, that they walk before me as you have walked before me. And now, O Elohim of Yashara'el, let your word, I pray you, be verified, which you spoke unto your servant, David, my father. But will Elohim indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, the heavens and the heaven of heavens cannot contain you, how much less this house that I have built. Yet have you respect unto the prayer of your servant, and to his supplication, O Yahuwah Elohai, to hearken unto the cry and to the prayer which your servant prays before you today. That your eyes may be open toward this house, night and day, even toward the place of which you have said, My name shall be there, that you may hearken unto the prayer which your servant shall make toward this place. And hearken to the supplication of your servant and of your people, Yashara'el, when they shall pray toward this place. And hear you in heaven your dwelling place. And when you hear, forgive. Eth, if any man trespass against his neighbor, and an oath be laid upon him to cause him to swear, and the oath come before your altar in this house, then hear you in heaven, and do, and judge at your servants, condemning the wicked to bring his way upon his head, and justifying the righteous to give him according to his righteousness. When your people, Yashara'el, be smitten down before the enemy, because they have sinned against you, and shall turn again to you, and confess eth your name, and pray, and make supplication unto you in this house. Then hear you in heaven, and forgive the sin of your people, Yashadael, and bring them again unto the land which you gave unto their fathers, when heaven is shut up, and there is no rain, because they have sinned against you. If they pray toward this place, and confess at your name, and turn from their sin when you afflict them. Then hear you in heaven and forgive the sin of your servants and of your people, Yashara'el, that you teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon your land, which you have given to your people for an inheritance. If there be in the land famine, if there be pestilence, blasting, mildew, locust, or if there be caterpillar, if their enemy besiege them in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be, what prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by all your people, Yashara'el, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart, and spread forth his hands toward this house. Then 
hear you in heaven, your dwelling place, and forgive and do. And give to every man according to his ways, eth whose heart you know. For you, even you only, know eth the hearts of eth all the children of men. That they may fear you all the days that they live in the land which you gave unto our fathers. Moreover, concerning a stranger, that is not of your people, Yashedael, but comes out of a far country for your name's sake. For they shall hear eth of your great name and of eth your strong hand and of your stretched out arm. When he shall come and pray toward this house, hear you in heaven your dwelling place and do according to all that the stranger calls to you for that all people of the earth may know at your name, to fear you, as do your people, Yashedael, and that they may know that this house, which I have built, is called by your name. If your people go out to battle against their enemy, whithersoever you shall send them, and shall pray unto El Yahuwah toward the city which you have chosen, and toward the house that I have built for your name? Then hear you in heaven at their prayer and at their supplication and maintain their cause. If they sin against you, for there is no man that sins not, and you be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near, Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives and repent and make supplication unto you in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness and so return unto you with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto you toward their land, which you gave unto their fathers, the city which you have chosen, and the house which I have built for your name, then hear at their prayer and at their supplication in heaven, your dwelling place, and maintain their cause, and Forgive your people that have sinned against you and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against you and give them compassion before them who carried them captive that they may have compassion on them for they be your people and your inheritance which you brought forth out of Mitzrayim, from the midst of the furnace of iron, that your eyes may be open unto the supplication of your servant and unto the supplication of your people, Yashadael, to hearken unto them in all that they call for unto you. For you did separate them from among all the people of the earth to be your inheritance as you spoke by the hand of Moshe, your servant, when you brought eth our fathers out of Mitzrayim, O Adonai Yahuwah. And it was so that when Shalomah had made an end of praying all this prayer and supplication unto El Yahuwah, eth he arose from before the altar of Yahuwah, from kneeling on his knees with his hands spread up to heaven, and he stood and blessed eth all the assembly of Yashadael with a loud voice, saying, Blessed be Yahuwah, that is given rest unto his people, Yashadael, according to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moshe, his servant. 
Yahuwah Eloheinu be with us as he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us nor forsake us, that he may incline our hearts unto him to walk in all his ways and to guard his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, which he commanded at our fathers. And let these my words, wherewith I have made supplication before Yahuwah, be nigh unto El Yahuwah Eloheinu, day and night, that he maintain, rather, that he maintain the cause of his servant and the cause of his people, Yashad El, at all times, as the matter shall require that all the people of the earth may know that Yahuwah is Elohim and that there is none else. Let your heart therefore be perfect with Yahuwah Eloheinu to walk in his statutes and to guard his commandments as at this day. And the king and all Yashadael with him offered sacrifice before Yahuwah. And Sholomah offered Eth a sacrifice of peace offerings, which he offered unto Yahuwah, two and twenty thousand oxen and a hundred and twenty thousand sheep. So the king and all the children of Yashadael dedicated Eth the house of Yahuwah. The same day did the king hallow Eth the middle of the court that was before the house of Yahuwah. For there he offered Eth burnt offerings and Eth meat offerings and Eth the fat of the peace offerings because the brazen altar that was before Yahuwah was too little to receive Eth the burnt offerings and eth the meat offerings, and eth the fat of the peace offerings. And at that time, Shalomah held eth a feast, and all Yashadael with him, a great assembly, from the entering in of Hamath unto the river of Mitzrayim, before Yahuwah Eloheinu, seven days and seven days, even Fourteen days. On the eighth day, he sent Eth the people away. And they blessed Eth the king and went unto their tents, joyful and glad of heart for all the goodness that Yahuwah had done for David, his servant, and for Yashara'el, his people.